everyone, welcome to our new video. In our previous lesson, you learned the definition of motion and the difference between speed and velocity. For today, we will be focusing on acceleration. But before we go further, allow me to share with you our learning target. First, we're going to describe motion in terms of acceleration. Then, I am going to teach you how to calculate the acceleration of a moving object. Acceleration tells how fast an object or a body changes its velocity. Acceleration is observed in many of our activities as we travel to other places, whether by land, by sea, or by air. We can also observe it when we are just walking to go somewhere, and even in the objects that are in motion that surrounds us. Now, if you see a car that is running very fast, can you automatically say that it is accelerating or it has an acceleration? We often associate acceleration as the increase of speed of an object or just a high speed. But there are things to consider for us to say that an object accelerates. An object is accelerating when, first, it is traveling in one direction with changing speed, either speeding up or slowing down. Second, if an object is moving at a constant speed but changes its direction. Third, when the object changes both of its speed and its direction. Acceleration is a vector quantity. That means it has both magnitude and direction. And it is defined as the rate at which an object changes its velocity. Therefore, an object is accelerating if it is changing its velocity. And if there is a change in speed or direction of an object, there is a change in velocity. Now, let us have a sample scenario. The car just maintained its speed and its direction. Is there an acceleration or no acceleration? The answer is no acceleration. Since the car just maintained its speed and direction, meaning there is no change in speed and direction. Therefore, no acceleration. Let us have another scenario. The car did not change its direction, but it increases its speed. Is there an acceleration or no acceleration? The answer is, there is acceleration. Why? Because there is a change in speed. Another scenario. The car did not change in speed, but turned into different direction. Is there an acceleration or no acceleration? Yes, correct. There is acceleration because there is a change in direction. Another scenario, the car changed both its speed and direction or changed its velocity. Is there an acceleration or no acceleration? There is acceleration since there is a change in velocity or change in speed and direction. Now, there are two types of acceleration. First, we have positive acceleration. It happens when an object in motion is increasing its velocity with time, meaning the speed is speeding up or increasing. Next, we have negative acceleration or what we call deceleration. It reduces velocity with time or it happens when an object is slowing down. Acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity with time. Thus, acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by change in time. Therefore, the formula for acceleration is acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. The unit for acceleration is meter per second squared. Now, let us have a sample problem. The velocity of the car was zero at the start, which is the initial velocity. At the end of one second, the velocity was five meter per second. At the end of two seconds, it was 10 meter per second. And at the end of three seconds, it is already 15 meter per second. And at the end of four seconds, it is already 20 meter per second. And at the end of five seconds, the velocity was 25 meter per second, which is the final velocity. Now, let us find out the acceleration of the car. Again, the formula 
for acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. The final velocity in the problem is 25 meter per second. And the initial velocity is 0 meter per second. And the time is 5 seconds. Now, to calculate, 25 meter per second minus 0 is equals to 25 meter per second divided by 5 seconds. And the answer is 5 meter per second squared. So therefore, in this case, the car speeds is accelerating an average of 5 meter per second squared. that's it see you in our next lesson and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this